and assassin TV cameras are back in Ireland. We catch up with my old mate, Sean Conway, and check up on the progress of the pups, now five months old. We see the younger generation learning the ropes. Pups are five months old and they're doing really well. Eating and sleeping and galloping, that's the main thing. Very happy with them. Um, no excuses so far. They never were sick a day of their life, so I'm, I'm very, very hopeful and they're like their mother, they're very good eaters. Well, as soon as they come off their mother, they'd been, I had to put them out into the paddocks. They knew they had to defend for themselves more. And from that stage, when they got to 12 weeks old and they were injected for parvo and vaccinated for all diseases and warmed and defleed, I uh, brought them into this field here. And, well, they, they've been here, they're 11 months old, and at that stage, they would be fit to know how to run and, and fit to know how to defend for themselves. And, Obviously, you'd, you'd want to be taking them to the track then at 12 months old and they'd be, you'd be hoping that they'd be very keen. You're looking for that dog that's standing out, and that dog that can, you know, you can take on another dog up the field and, and you, you, want, you want to see them, you want to see them trying to outrace the dogs beside them as well, you know, trying to get themselves into that position where they know how to pass dogs and they know how to take on dogs and they know how to defend themselves when they're racing against dogs. And when they get, another thing too is when they get them with, when they get them up the field with the other dogs, they sort of know to get themselves into a position and, and to race each other, you know. That's, that's the way I look at it anyhow, you know. You have to learn them to do what they're born to do. And at a, at a stage, you realise that the, these could be good or maybe not so good, you know. <whistles> these here are um, a repeat meeting of uh, Calico Ranger. So these here are holding spies and won't fall behind. Uh, these are great looking pups, so they, are. they never stop running there and they're very, very keen. Very keen, these here are only seven months old, I think. And um, I'm very, 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 very hopeful of these. I love them, to be honest with you. And they're great grubbers as well. I bring them back into the paddocks when they're about 11 months old. And from that there, I would uh, start giving them a bit of sleeping and to see how keen they are. They'd get maybe, they'd, they'd get maybe two, three sleeps before I bring them to the track. And I think that's only fair in any dog to give them a sleep because it's, it's all new to them when, they, when you bring them to the track. Never mind bringing them to the track when they haven't got nothing. So I like to, I like to introduce it to them at a young age because, well, uh, uh, you'll, you'll see in a few months' time they do love it. Sure. They're very, very relaxed and the mother was the same and I had the, gran I had the granny as well and she was the same. Very, very professional. Very professional. Yeah, so it's still 24 7. There's no slack in here. Keep her flat to the mat. Uh, I wouldn't really change it, to be honest with you. I love it. See that the last thing. Um, see them going well over in England. It's sort of all oh, the work you do, it pays off. That Antigua Breeze, I had him for a, a friend of mine. and. Um, I said to him at an early age, I said, this dog's a freak. Um, I brought him till, I brought him to Derry, the first time I put him into the box in Derry, on 1683 or 1684. And I said to John that day, he said, John, you've got an airplane here. And he was only 12 months old. And the second time I put him in the box in Derry, on 1663. And again, obviously I rung John, and I said to John, I think you've got a serious pup here. His name that time was called Fearsome Gunner. And I had him, and then John, uh, Sold him on to the Antigua man, and he was that's the dog at the minute. The Antigua Breeze, he's a good dog, like he done 27 87 and one more in the second of a race. And then another good dog there, I had there holding a spy pup, um, out of my own bitch, corner Monty Taney, a dog called Hold'em North. 
Um, he started off slowly in England, which was surprising because he was doing well for me, but he, obviously he didn't settle well down in England. And to be fair to the Weatheralls and Darn, uh, that dog came out in Nineham and done 29.55, which is a serious run because the Derby team, the Derbys, wasn't one much faster, you know. Another thing I would like, and I, and I do invite, is um, the people that it is against the game at the minute, to just just to come here for just to come to, to my place. Don't even, you know, just make a phone call and come to my place for a month, just to see how how, how well we treat our greyhounds. Like, you know, if if I had a dog and he wasn't a good eater and, he, and I knew he needed fed, I would get up in the middle of the night to feed that dog because that's just the type of me, you know. Like, it's not nice when when we're putting in so much effort that somebody sitting behind a keyboard wire is is trying to destroy it. Like, you know, when I invite them people to come here for just a month or two weeks or two days or two hours just to see how these dogs are treated and how much feeding they get and, and how well they're treated after racing. You can see from the, the way that these dogs are treated that they respect me as well, you know, and that these dogs, inside five minutes of viewing these gorgeous animals that you'll see, that they know they're loved as much as I love them. This, this is a bitch, but five months old, I'd say she weighs maybe 55, 56 pound weight, no problem. Five months old. Five months old. And uh, I'd say, I'm, well, just looking at them, I'd say the dogs are making 80. And I'd say there's a few bits there, and make 60, 70. Pound, well, there's definitely a couple of bits that are mixed 70, and I'd say the rest of them make mid 60s. The mall was a large, big, strong bit, so it's, no, it's not really a big surprise, you know. Uh, she's a great mall, she was, and uh, I, I, I actually well her myself, uh, her and her mother, and um, the two of them are very, very similar personalities, great to hound, uh, great grubbers, and her children would be sort of, in my opinion, they're taking up all the traits that she had. Um, she keeps herself in great order, as you can see, and um, and she's a part of the family now. Like she's in here now. We have her, we have her now. I would say seven or eight months, and, and she's a real family favourite. We love her, and the children absolutely adore. Her. And to my brothers, two wee girls, they wouldn't go to bed any night unless they went called over and seen her. So she's a real family favourite, and we're looking forward to bringing her again. And, I've I've high hopes of these these pups here and um, the sort of the plans is the minute after uh, that and take a breeze dog the way he's turned out I'd like to see zero ten on her you know and I would be surprised if she didn't show, do something decent because our, our sons and daughters have have all the real treats that she has like they've great looking pups and great great grubbers and and everything you'd want in a, a dog like. Uh, these here were the pups here that were born the last time you were over. Um, these pups here, there was she had six dogs and three bitches, and um, the mother had no milk for the first three weeks, and I was lucky enough to have a, a another mother next door, and she had only two, two or three pups, and um, thankfully she was she had a pile of milk, she she had a load of milk, and uh, I kept bringing her in, and. Um, she, she fed them no problem, and the, the, the other mother, she was happy enough for her to help. And she, she, she just looked on as, as, they, as they sucked her as well. And then, um, th thankfully, she was, she was a young bitch, she had plenty of milk, and they never looked, at, they never looked behind them. And um, as you can see, they're very, very strong. And the last time you were videoing this here, bitch here was the bitch that was born on the, on the, on the, on the camera. And uh, so that, that was the one. That's the one, and this here happens to be my best mate's uh, bitch. He, he, I, he's lucky enough. He's, he picked her, and she, she'll become uh, an easy bitch. She'll, she'll be an easy prefix. Um, as you can see, there's no nerves in these either. I'm, I'm just going to take these pups up into an hour field because just, 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 just breaks up the day a wee bit for them and takes the boredom out of them and. Learns them how to run in different 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 uh, environments and and gets them used to the road and gets them used to many things. Gets them used to walking beside me and as you can see they're half mad so I'm interested to see how they go. They're very disciplined like. 
I'm very disciplined. I like a little bit of this dog here. Ah, he's gorgeous. This just gives him a chance to open up. Come on. Come on. That's a good feel. Uh huh. Great. They're well, well monitored, like. Get some used to the van as well, you see. Uh, you know, it's all alert. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all schooling, like, you know, they jump up into the van there and the, you just see I let them tear away there for three or four minutes any time and then when you're going to school them, they know, they know, they know, they know where they're going then, they know they're going to get a better practice. Like, they love it, like, like no, none of these dogs are forced to do this. Like, the, the, like I love, like, we love our dogs, like, you know, and they, you can see, like, they, the they, 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 they love it. The game. They love it. This is Tony, this is boy, this is... Th th these two boys here, Daniel, uh, Daniel and Tony, these are two brothers. And uh, this is Corey. Corey is a, a cousin. And the three of these boys, well, and boy as well, they're... Corey, they're, yeah? Yes, Corey. Mm -hmm. these are, these are, this, this is the easy counts. Do you love the dogs? I love them. So you're going to be a, a trainer or a breeder when you grow up? I might be a bit of both. A bit of both? Aye. Good lads. Head, you're doing the drag, right? Okay. You can't do the drag. Hey, Tails, you're slipping. He's a droopy's jet dog, and uh, this is his first time at the gallop. Yeah. And uh, Daniel's going to show you, Daniel's going to take you down to the bottom of the gallop and see how he goes. Isn't that right, Daniel? Yeah. So, Daniel knows you. Do you enjoy it, Daniel? Yeah, I love it. It's a really good experience, and I love the dogs. What do you enjoy the most? The best part is raising them as a pup and going and seeing how they become a good, a good or not. You know what I mean? Like you, whenever you like the day get, old, get to see them on the track. Yeah, whenever I see them a day old, whenever they're born, and then a year later you see them on the track, being a top dog. Hopefully. Would you say this is better than doing computer games? Yes, one hundred percent. Or would you rather be out playing football? No. Doing the dogs, my, yes? This, this is my, my favourite thing. Right. You ran well. Pleased with that? Yeah. How's it going, Tony? Good. Good? Yeah. It's all about getting the kids involved. We need new blood into the sport. And uh, I have to admit now, these three boys here are absolutely brilliant. Every time I go down this lane, they're down within two minutes, give me a hand. And Tony, as you can see there, and Daniel and Corey, they're, they're great at handling dogs and they have a great interest. And, and like, as you can see, like, they love it. So Tony's just getting ready here now, and Corey, he's doing the dragging, and Daniel's doing the catching. So when Tony, Tony's ready, he, he, he gives a wave. He's ready to go. And then she'll be. What do you reckon, Tony? Is she any good? Yeah. Has she gone well? Uh-huh. You've been feeding the dogs this afternoon? Yeah. So you've come home from school uh -huh. and straight to do the greyhounds? Yeah. No on the computer? No. No playing football? No. Dogs only, yeah? Yeah. So is that the future for you? Yeah, definitely. So do you love the dogs? I love them. I don't know what I'd be doing if we didn't have the, the greyhounds. So you wouldn't be on your computer or playing football? No, I'm not into football. So what do you want to see yourself in the future? Trainer or...? A trainer slash breeder. I'd, lo I'd love to uh, get my own brood bitch and um, breed my own pups and have them hit the sand and then see them come across the finish line and then train my own dogs and maybe train for other people. And what's the, what's the thing that you love to see the best? Them going over the finish line. How's he going? He's going good. I think he could have stepped it up a bit. For the first time, not bad? 
And that's his first time I ever hit the sand. I think he did well for his first time. Up the gallop. I think you've got a derby prospect there. No, he'll not be a derby. But... <laughs> yeah. This pup here is uh, 12 months old. This, this is his first time he's been able to to the traps and they're ready. Sure. Delighted, absolutely delighted. What did you think, girls? Did Didn't run well? Even my young daughter, she, she's mad about them, and she's only two, like. And these boys here from a young age, like. Brilliant. Do you think he, do you think Sean's any good? Yeah, I think he's really good. I'm um, reading. I was down at his for a day, and I looked in, and there was an entire pen of brood bitches, and I said, how many of them do you race? I thought they were racing pups. And, I, and he goes, them saw broods. And I goes, holy ghost, they might be broods. There was about seven broods in one pen. Any of girlfriends interested? <laughs> Don't have any. <laughs> Girls, do you, like, do you like the dogs when they're babies or when they're fully grown? Babies. Like babies. <laughs> the boys, you like the babies or when they're... Grown up. Grown up. Grown doing up, the racing, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I just want to say, Grand Apache started this year whole greyhound thing. Yeah. On the day of the funeral, you prayed it out in front of uh, your granddaughter's ca coffin. Yeah, up, up. me and Daniel, we walked her up all the way from the house. Yeah. Up there, Granny Ann's house. We walked her from there all the way to the road and then we walked her up from the bottom of the chapel lane all the way up to the chapel. And then we put her back in the van to go home. We, we love, love the greyhounds! Yeah. It's, good, it's good to get them used to the dogs young, like we love it so do, and so, so does the children. And, as you can see, we're just all one big family, and we're just families breed dogs, families rear dogs, families are raised with dogs. And it's just something, it's everyday life for us. So, so this here is my wee niece, Sinead, and she was at Drumbo Park when Easy Poppy was running, and she absolutely loved it, didn't you, Sinead? I loved it, I loved the dogs. And this here is my mother, uh, and I couldn't do it her, and everybody that knows me knows that very well. Uh, since she's her last with us, both pups are now five months old. As you can see from the videos, the mother and the pups are doing really well. As you can see from the, the clips with the, the young boys galloping the dogs, not only are the pups learning, and not only are the dogs learning, but the, the young boys are learning the ropes as well. This is great to see, and it's a great opportunity for the kids to, to learn. Uh, so the next and final time you'll be seeing me, Lemon Bowling, on our pups, will be in six or seven months' time. And that next time you will see them going up the gallop behind the lure, and hopefully we'll get them to the track as well. We are really hopeful for these pups and we're looking forward to them because they've got every opportunity. I love this job. My family has been involved in it in 25 to 30 years. Um, I know nothing else. It's a great sport and we love it and we love our dogs. Since we was last here, there's been an addition to the Conway clan. Little Ava, lovely. We'll be back in Ireland in the spring next year to see how the pups progress on the schooling track.